Top nine girls will star as Dorothy in Andrew Lloyd Webber's production of The Wizard of Oz at the Ed Mervish Theater. And the choice is up to you. Your votes determine who gets to wear the ruby slippers. Over the Rainbow is a show in which 10 girls are competing to be cast as Dorothy in the stage production of The Wizard of Oz. But it's a little different to your average song and dance show. Here, the audience has a real say. In a little bit of magic created by the Munchkins here at CBC, the audience can watch and rate a performance live as it's happening. I've done a lot of shows like this, but none that have really had the sort of audience participation, the interactivity of this show. Go to our website to learn how to vote, play along live, and after each performance, tell us if you liked it or loved it with the help of our virtual applause meter, AKA the crystal ball. In some ways, the crystal ball is almost as important as the judges because the, the viewing audience gets, gets a chance to hear what the judges think, but also seeing what your fellow viewers think about each performance live really has a major impact. We ask the audience to participate in the show, rate the performances, we take that rating and put it back on TV. It's a way for us to be truly interactive to break down the wall that exists between the audience and the television. What we're doing with this interactivity is giving them a chance to watch our show and not do other things, unrelated things simultaneously, but actually have a complete viewing experience. Right now the show's going to air and I'm on the phone to California and what I'm doing here is uh, queuing live content into the app in time with the television. And it's a way to show the audience that their voice is really being heard. That little bit of input actually helps us as the audience get our voice across for the judges to know who we want as Dorothy. Some of the interactive elements, like the ability to watch a performance on TV, rate that performance in real time on your second screen, and then have that audience rating appear back on TV live. Some of this stuff was groundbreaking. I don't think it had ever been done before. But it was also for us, it served a purpose. It was something larger. It was an introduction to an interactive world around the show. And it all revolved around the format, choosing the winning Dorothy by voting and earning those votes. To cast a vote on this show, you gotta earn it first. How? By answering quiz questions and participating in challenges on the website and the app. One of the objectives on this show was to make sure that people had something to do in between the broadcasts. So the television show didn't stop when the broadcast was over on a Monday night. There was continuous activity throughout the week. Every day we had daily challenges on the website. Um, the most successful part of that was the fact that it was related directly back to the content. And we've given the Dorothys the means to tell their own stories. It was a really cool way to, for the public to get to know the Dorothys and for the Dorothys to tell their own stories. Last night this raccoon came in and attacked adult tomatoes and tomatoes were all over the floor. It was gross. So we only have like two or three left. Sad face. The reaction from the fans has been incredible. And it's really about making TV more fun. We love like during the week, like even we'll have like a homework break and we'll just start doing all the different um, activities online. And, and the daily challenges. Daily challenges. Like answering oh, yeah. questions and racking up votes. We have like a competition in the house just who can get the most votes <laughs> in one yeah. day. More interactive. Are you really going to get me to say how often I go on there? My husband's going to kick me out of the house. And more engaging for the fans at home. For your sh TV shows that you like to watch, would you like to be able to kind of interact with them? Yeah. Yeah? That's pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah. People would talk on our Facebook page. Oh, I've earned eight votes. How many have you got so far this week? Or, uh, how come someone so has got seven votes? I don't understand how that works. Like, people were really, really passionate about that, and I haven't seen that before. This is the most interactive show I've ever done. And it's also probably the most successful. It definitely has paid off. It definitely has paid off. And I wish now, seeing how it's worked on the show, that when we started the project, we could have found more ways to get the audience involved and had even more interactivity. 
but that's for the next show. Voting starts now, so what are you waiting for? Go to cbc.ca slash over the rainbow and make your voice heard.